Thank you so much for staying tuned. It is time for parenting. And for that, we have parenting expert, Clara Koladi. Uh, she has many years uh, of experience as a certified etiquette trainer. She is, however, also a mother and is quite passionate about parenting. Uh, she's the chief facilitator for the Exigo Finishing School. And today's topic of discussion uh, is uh, personal grooming with children. Yes, yeah, so that's the focus today. I'm pretty sure we have Clara there. Hello, Clara. Hello, good morning. I'm good morning. morning. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Fantastic. Okay, yeah. so uh, we already know that personal grooming is very important for every individual. But then when we talk about children, uh, most folks don't even realize the importance of uh, personal grooming for a child. We think, oh, when you get to a particular stage, we'll teach you how to do this, how to do that. Uh, so in your point of view, how important is it for a child uh, to get the basics when it comes to personal grooming? Oh, how everyone needs it. I, as a matter of fact, the earlier you start, the better for the child and the better for you. Mm. Because when you say, oh, I'm going to wait till this child is 10, he's 12, 14, he's already setting his way. Mm. So just start very early. And what is grooming? Grooming a child in the physical, and emotional, and mental state. Mm. But today we're going to just leave it at uh, physical and personal grooming. Mm. I tell parents, whatever you need to do with a child, you need to finish by age seven. Mm. You mm. need to finish by age seven. Teach little children, okay, put your toys away, how to present yourself, what to wear. If you are going outside, what should you wear, what should you not wear, how to brush your teeth. It's a whole lot that I don't think we can discuss everything. We'll do justice to everything in this particular, just this segment. Mm. You need to teach the child, okay, proper, for instance, posture for a girl, for a boy. If you sit, you sit properly. You don't need to slouch. You teach um, reading culture. You mm. teach um, social skills. You teach um, simple dining etiquette, how the child should behave around food, around the table. You teach the use of cutlery. So that when the child gets into a larger society, they know how to conduct themselves. Mm. Actually, you even teach healthy lifestyle. Mm. You tell the child, for instance, it's better for you to eat apple than to eat something laden with sugar and salt or processed food. It's a whole lot of things. You teach the child, for instance, you need to, when you come back from school, you take your shoe to the appropriate place and brush it and keep it neat. Lengthy. You, you even start, for instance, the physical. You need to teach the child how to brush his teeth. That is up and down stroke. And he cleans his tongue. And he cleans it properly. And he makes sure that he washes and he washes his face where his dress should be neat and all that. Because if you are not neat, you are offended the next person and you may not know. Because mm. if all of, all, of, all of us, we decide to be dirty. This society would be in a, in a trouble, we'd be in big trouble. So it's very necessary to teach these things early. Mm. Teach the child to serve domestic chores. Take your plate to the kitchen when you finish eating. Mm. Even when you have help at home, let the child learn these basic skills. You need to tell, tidy up the table. He wakes up in the morning, let him lay in bed. Hmm. It's not going to kill the child. Hmm. Let him take his towel back to the hangar, not take it on the bed. Where's the towel on the bed? Hmm. Let him know that he should change his socks on a daily basis. Hmm. It hmm. is very important and teach the child reading culture. I can stay on this, the reading culture for the whole day, and I'm not going to exhaust it. I get young parents who tell me, oh, the children are trouble, they are always saying, I'm bored, I'm bored. Teach the child reading. Teach the child whether you should do topical reading, reading or maybe wisdom. Oh. Hmm. Teach the child character reading. Maybe hmm. there's a particular person in the society that he will want to be like. Let the child read. Teach the child how to read 
autobiography depending on the age of the child. Hmm. All these old, they start reading apps on their phones, hmm. on their tablets. And before you can successfully do this, I tell parents, please, you need to teach attention span. Hmm. If, you, if the child is very little, maybe two years old, you want to teach attention span, you want to start by sitting, starting with 15 minutes. Sit down with that child for 15 minutes. First, you tell, go to the bathroom, go and do your beat in the bathroom and come back. Then mm. sit on the table with that child for 15 minutes and make sure he does not get up, except for whatever emergency. Then like that, you build to 20 minutes to 30 minutes, and after a while, the child can read on his or her own. Hmm. It will reduce this idea, oh, oh we are bored, I'm bored, that you hear. I hear parents, they'll just take the child, go and do your numbers. They're in the bedroom, take, tell the child a two-year-old, go to the, to the sitting room and do your numbers. The child won't do it. Hmm. It is very important. The reading thing is stimulates the mental ability of the child. The child is able to get into the, to the world of the author and a whole lot of benefits the child derives from that. Set but, expectations and boundaries. Tell the child, look, we're together. If you scatter your things, your toys on the table mm -hmm. and all that, delay gratification. You are not going to go with us to taste fried chicken mm -hmm. on Friday when we're going. Next Basically, it, it's important to start teaching the children uh, personal grooming as early as possible, as soon as the child can be responsive uh, to instructions. However, um, we know some children usually take personal responsibility from a very early age. Uh, they mm -hmm. want to tidy up their rooms, yet there mm -hmm. are some who don't. Now, mm -hmm. would we also say that parents have a role to play in that, especially if, for example, you're the kind of parent who says, make sure you put your laundry in the laundry baskets, but when you come back from work, you just throw your, um, you know, your clothes uh, maybe on a chair or on the bed. So would you say parents are also uh, responsible enough uh, to teach by example, so to speak? Maybe oh, that could absolutely. be of help. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. You know what happens half of the time is that children learn from what you do the other than what you say. Yeah. Seventy percent of the time. Mm. So you have to you have to walk the talk. Mm. It's not just I tell parents that your parent does not mean you are perfect. Mm. Accept mm. your imperfection. Parenting is not so that you are perfect. In your parenting journey, is that you are going to make mistakes, you are going to agree to these mistakes, and you are going to make corrections. Oh, well. You can't come from work, and you, you're, you're a father, you carry your jacket, you just throw it, your socks in some place, your shoes in some place, your wife is literally picking things after you. Um, after you, and so in that case, your children feel, well, mommy can pick up after us. Well, uh, Clara, Absolutely. it's been very enlightening. I must thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank it's you our so pleasure. Please stay me. safe, all right? I will, and you too. Thank Great. you. Bye. And bye. And you know bye. that brings us to the end of the second hour on Wake Up Nigeria. We'll still have 45 minutes left to go. Stay with us. <laughs>